today. We're gonna do a little bathroom tour slash my skincare shelfie. For someone who is 37 years old with acne prone skin with an emphasis of tightening my pores. This is going to be our routine today, including the oil, which we will finish with. I'm gonna show you my storage cabinet with a lot more products. But in addition to this, first of all, you guys, it's called Mood Toothbrush and it's magnetic. And it automatically lights up. You turn off the lights. So when I do break out, and I made so many videos. I use May Lindstrom's Problem Solver as a mask. And I use her Clean Dirt as an exfoliator. Starting with the cream mask Vernix from Biologic Research. This particular formula is now discontinued for a vegan substitute which is why when i saw these products on tj maxx i ran to get them even though i believe they were like 165 down from the regular about 210 ish if i'm remembering correctly and then we have our naturium i find this mediocre Meaning it's not something I'm going to repurchase, but it doesn't irritate me and it doesn't break me out. I really like these iPads, so I have a backup. I currently use them. Um, we spoke about how I used to get PR from Kypris, so I should start using it. That's what I need to start doing. You guys have heard me talk about the MetaHeal um, retinol version, which I find okay. I'm not a big fan of these pads. The pads that I love the most, I speak about them in my number one most sold in Korea video. It's a carrot ingredient, so you can look out for that. I have a do, um, the thing with, and I know I spoke about do, but going back to, what do you think, guys? So this was, um, given to me, but, I'm throwing it out. It's a it's July 2022. Like I don't I don't think that's safe for us. I don't think that's safe. This is going out. You know, in addition, I don't know if you've heard of this brand, but this one over here, Lil Fox. I find it extremely underwhelming, and there's also another product from them that I need to get rid of because it really broke me out. It's not this, it's their Amazon After Dark um, cleanser. It's an oil cleanser, but I find it extremely filmy, meaning that after you rinse it off, you'll notice it is still kind of an oil, and it looks really enticing in terms of an oil cleanser, but it just, it also smells really nice. It's, a very, it's an expensive green beauty brand. But for example, this is supposed to be their retinol alternative with baka chul, but I just don't think it works as well. So um, it's just not a brand I will purchase more products from. So I know this is out from Agent Nature, but this, and I really like it. It's their hyaluronic spray. They also have a powder vitamin C that you're supposed to mix this with. But I mentioned this because what I started doing, you guys, is you know that I have a K-Beauty video. So this is from Round Lab. It's super, super popular, really affordable, like under $20. And I started putting it in here as a spray after a serious cleanse. I find it a much better experience in terms of the application of the whole product. This is one of my favorite sunscreens, so I have a backup. I have really long hair, and so with the CVS next door, I'm trying, I really like this packaging, and I think it seems to be, I, I like it. It's a leave-in conditioner. Um, here to, this is a retinol body cream. I find that the smell is, there is no fragrance, but I just don't really like 
the smell. It's like almost too science. It's almost too scientific. Um, I do like the smell of this, which is a hand cream from Suzanne Hoffman. Here's another little thing from this round. Um, I need to start using this more. I really like the Merit Great Skin. I we have the blush. We have a brush. And we have the only skincare product that Merit makes, which is the Instant Glow Serum. Shake it, pump it, no scent. Off the bat, you notice that it's so thick, glass, and beautifully designed. And there you have the Serum Instant Glow. Eight out of 10. This, I don't, this I find uh, doesn't really moisturize my skin or hydrate it as much as this does. Um, this is for a skin tool that I need to start using. I literally have not used the tripolar wands. I have my tools over here, you guys. And I like, oh my God, you guys, look at this boo-boo I made. Oh, hey, boo-boo. I need like so. So I got Shot Spot. This is me like scrubbing the hell out of my coffee for three days. And then I resorted to getting a new rug. So, um, Look out for a new living room glow up soon. It's really cute. I spent like $700 on it. Anyways, so please subscribe because um, your girl is broke. Now, Environ's also a super spa company, quite pricey. And this is your body oil and um, I guess light chemical exfoliator. It's not something I would buy again, but I know people love it. Also, I need to get some sort of a KP. Maybe I should just use it more because the upper part of my arms I'm the most insecure about is getting bumpy and I'm not into that. Let's get into these products. Oh yeah, Future. This is also another expensive spa. 8 2024. Line up. I just can never tell when a serum like that really works because that one's like definitely over $100 or something. Yeah, hey this is also when I used to be gifted product from Revive, and I really like that skin tool. It's great for like this area. This is a mask that I really need to try. It's a nighttime K-Beauty brand. Quickly going into my drawers. We have a bunch of Biodance, of course. We have some Shampoos. We have some Nuwa activating gels. We have some chin straps. We have more chin straps. And that's about it. You guys know what I think about prequel. But I do like um, some of their products. I don't want to look like I'm hating. Like, I do like their body cream. And then also my nozzle broke. And they were really nice. And they just sent me a whole new big tub of lotion. Which I appreciate. But this, for example, works well. But it just, like... I'm surprised it's not leaking all over. Usually I see a puddle of oil here. Um, this is okay for my hair. This is a lot of spa style and they have face masks that I really, really like. And I like it so much that I got the serum. Particularly their, um, their eye masks. And Bethany Frankel speaks about them. That's who I heard about this particular company from. We have more Kypra, so we have the clearing serum, we have the Moonlight Catalyst, and we have their Thousand Roses, which I think is the most expensive in terms of their oil line. And we're gonna open this after we are finished using the Kaiser Weiss. I really like this oil too. I really like this brand. They're, um, Face concealer is just, for me, unbeatable in terms of how great it conceals.